What up? What up? What up? This is Dan DeFi, and uh, today we're going to be talking about my first NFT purchase. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about my first NFT purchase, what I bought, how I bought it, and uh, what happened with it. So let's take a look at that. But first, if you guys want to go follow me on Twitter, it's uh, I'm Dan DeFi. Follow me at I'm Dan DeFi. And uh, you can get some more insight into other parts of my life, including my rants about hip-hop and my random tweets about Taco Bell. So check that out. Um, yeah, so let's get into talking about my NFT purchase. So a long time ago, I don't know if you guys remember this, but for the us crypto OGs out there, or uh, I don't know if I'd say even OG, but you know this was, this was a little while ago. I don't even know what year. But Crypto Diddy's, Crypto Kitties, not Diddy's, um, did come out. And what they are is each um, each cat is its own NFT. So, yeah, this was built on Ethereum. This was one of the first big, uh, big NFT things, big NFT projects that really hit the market. Um, or one that I was more aware of. So... If you see my account name is Saucy Cats, because I originally got these cats for my daughter, um, and I'm probably still gonna pass them down to her, um, if like if I don't sell them. So um, I I don't know if they're worth anything yet, but I'm just holding on to these freaking cats, guys. I I don't even know really, but let's get into the cats that I own and kind of what happened. So um, Saucy Cats is my um, account. And, um, so I have Madam Bubble Shazam. So if you click on Madam Bubble Shazam, um, she's a Gen 9 plotting. She's, uh, Asian. Um, I don't even know if this is, uh, I bet you I could just, hold on. Let me just translate that. I've never actually translated this. So hopefully this doesn't come out really bad. Um, but we're going to enter language. <laughs> meow, meow. During the day, I'm a full-time chef, and I like to apply for credit at night. In my free time, you always see Benimo always turning into a DJ to play DJ to parkour. Um, so I guess it is Chinese. So my cat is Chinese. Um, um, I guess you can wrap them now? I don't even know. Like, I, I feel like this crypto case is really built out since I uh, owned this. Here, let's... Discover my kitty's hidden genes. Okay, let's uh, Sure, we're just gonna check this out. Oh So the gene reader, okay Your kitty ID uh, Okay, check out our gene reader and official crypto kitties guide Donate Okay The perfect is kitty Oh, okay, well, I got. I guess this is like a calculator to figure out the attributes of your cat. But uh, we can look at the cat attributes. So I got Ragdoll, Dahlia, Lemonade. That's a color. Um, so here's the parents of uh, my cat and um, all the children of this that were in this breeding of this cat. So I have my own bubble... Shazam. Um, I'm probably gonna keep her for a while. Let's look at these. <laughs> Let's look at these other cats. This this shit still trips me out. I don't even know like what I was really thinking when I bought these things, and if they're ever gonna be worth like anything. I'm not even sure. So this one's in Gen Two. Um, let's see what this one says. Demon. Um, S Demon Scuttle Poopsie. So that's who we're looking at. Um, that's the cat we're checking out. I don't, these bios are kind of freaking me out. I'm not sure what those are going to say. Did you have a meal? Hi, this is Demon Scuttle Poopsie. To tell you quietly, I once went to the city to the to the city to play with a Chinese sturgeon. Hey, Ben Meow. Likes to sneak away the yoga pants while the, the slave is not paying attention and then put them in the glove box. It's the wayward meow. Okay, so yeah, don't really know what all that means. Um, this one is a Gen 2, which I think is like, I think Gen 1's like 
better. I think they go, I'm pretty sure it goes backwards. Here's my cat's birthday, and I hatched this cat. So this cat was actually a baby for my other two cats, um, which I think, and basically it means that I basically minted this um, in, in like NFT crypto language. So yeah, here's the parents, which are both my cat. Um, so I have the mother and the father. Um, let's let's look at this one. I don't know if this kitty cow co is gonna tell us anything. Shadow gray. Okay, mystery. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really say a whole bunch. Um, but you can see uh, you can s see right here the parents. So we're gonna go look at the parents here because I I own both of the parents as well. Um, so I'm pretty sure. Um, one of these I bought. I don't know. I bought one of these, but this one's a Gen 13 plotting cooldown. I'm not sure. Uh, this time has recovered plotting 48 hours. This, uh, I don't know why it's saying it's like about the breeding because I haven't bred. Um, with this cat um, so I'm not really sure but this is one of the other cats is easy soul beast um, and then I think we're gonna go to Shushu so this one's actually uh, Chinese as well this one's a gen 1 um, if you oh I guess we can click gen 1 we can see oh so these are all breed 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 yeah I can breed. I, like I said, this project, guys, is probably expanded since I got into it. There was already, like, a lot of information that was, like, it was just too much because I, I just didn't care. I was just more was interested in owning, like, different cool-looking cats at the time. So, I, I mean, you guys can probably dig into, like, all of the everything. There's, like, guides and... I'm sure there's probably a whole YouTube community built around this. I haven't even, like, um, got into that because I feel like it would be a whole rock rabbit hole that I just have to, like, um, go down. But let's go see. So I got um, spiciness right here. Man, here's the mother and father. We're going to go to the one cat. Um scuttle poopsie right here okay so do I own yeah so shoo shoo spiciness right here is involved in the breeding yeah that's the mother and then the father is professor yeg 20s um, I guess the red district owner like 14 collections too. read now price free um, do I guess there's a lot going on. Um, this this cat looks like oh, wow. This cat has a lot of children. I guess I guess someone is just open. This one's like open to breed with. Interesting. So this all takes happen, guys. Um, you can get involved in Crypto Kitties by uh, using MetaMask. I'm not sure if you guys know about MetaMask or have ever used it before, but MetaMask is a, a wallet you can add uh, as an extension to. Um, your browser and we can I can maybe do a video on MetaMask one time I, I haven't really gone into all that but yeah that's how you get into buying these crypto kitties you gotta have some ETH in there and um, at the time here let's look at if I've ever received any offers for these things no nope. offer sent no nope. transactions so I tried to sell them a long time ago okay so 2019 Okay, so uh, <clears throat> here's where I actually bred uh, in 2019. So, yeah, these, these cats are pretty old, guys. Um, and then I uh, purchased a ZZ so best from somebody. I don't even know. Um, but that's all my transaction history on the cats, guys. You can see there's, like, a lot going on um, with these cats. And I think it's just... Uh, 
uh, still a grow could be a growing project or this could come back like Pokemon in 10 years. Who knows what's going to happen with these cats. Um, I'm holding my four. Like I said, I might just pass them down to my daughter. Um, you know, you could always uh, inbox me, send me offers if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking out the video. This was my first NFT purchase. Um, and my second really is the uh, is the domains. So the uh, Unstoppable Domains, you guys have seen uh, what's going on with that. Uh, DanDefi.Wallet um, is now active on Polygon. And um, because of the L2 update that uh, Unstoppable Domains had. So that's awesome. But um, yeah, guys, these are my first NFTs. It was uh, fun buying them. It's kind of fun owning them still. I don't like that's the reason they're kind of still there and I haven't tried to sell them off. Um, but yeah, they are they are for sale. If you guys are, if someone is interested in them, um, you can send me a private offer or send me some on Twitter. And uh, talk to you guys soon.